Hello and welcome to this video session presented by InSync Solutions. Today we will discuss about how to install PrestaShop in your local computer using WAMP server. So for first installing PrestaShop, you need to have the installation files. For that you have to go to prestashop.com and in the home page you'll get a download button at the top. Click on it and select download now. It will prompt you to open or save the file. Click on the save file option and click OK. Now go to the download folder. So if you have downloaded your PrestaShop file in any other directory, just go to that directory and copy the installation file inside the www directory of your installed WAMP server. You can click on the WAMP server icon on the taskbar and click on the www directory and it will open up that directory for you. Copy the PrestaShop installation file here before that extract it. Now go inside the folder and find install PrestaShop file and a folder named PrestaShop inside it. So here you'll find all our required files and folders. Okay now I'll select them all, cut them, move back one directory and paste them here. So now inside the PrestaShop folder there is nothing. So I'll delete that folder. We go back and this is the directory where we will install our PrestaShop. We rename this directory to PrestaShop 1609. Okay, so our files are ready for installation, but what we need is a database. So we go to our WAMP server homepage. You can also click on the WAMP icon, click on localhost, and it will open up the WAMP server homepage for you. Okay, now click on PHP My Admin under tools. Now go to databases and here we will create a new database. We'll name it PrestaShop 1609. Same as the directory we named just a moment back. Click on create and your database is created. So a blank database is created. Now what we need is to start installing our PrestaShop. I'll open a new tab then I'll open the WAMP server home page. Now see this is the folder we created just some time back PrestaShop 1609 okay so click on it and the installation will start. So I will just name our PrestaShop store as demo store we can choose any activity okay your country your shop time zone now you have to select the account username and password now this username and password will be used during the backend access so if you want to access your back office you have to remember this email ID and password so I have filled in the details and then I'll click on next. Okay, so this is the database configuration page. The database server name is localhost because we are using the WAMP server. Database name is whatever name you have given there during the database creation. Database login is root by default. And I have not given any password to the database so I'll just keep it blank. Now table prefix is just what is added before the table name. Whenever PrestaShop will create a table for our PrestaShop store, it will add this prefix before every table name. So you can keep the prefix name or give anything of your choice or just remove it. Okay. So I'll test the database connection and the database is connected. So settings are correct according to PrestaShop and I'll click on next. It will now start creating the settings file and create the tables that are required, install the modules, install the theme files and we'll set up my PrestaShop store. Well it will take a little while. Well our installation is complete now. You can see that it is showing the email address that we have used during installation and the password here. You can also display the password if you don't remember it by clicking the link beside it. 
Just below it, you can see that there are two links, the back office and the front office. If you click on the front office, it will take you to the front end of your PrestaShop store. This is the front end of your PrestaShop store that you have installed. And if we click on back end, it will give an error. So here's the error screen saying for security reasons you cannot connect to the back office until you have deleted the installed folder. So in order to access the back office we have to delete the install folder. Now where can we get that? Let's go to the folder which we used for our installation that is the PrestaShop 1609 folder. Go inside the folder and there you will see another folder named install. Just right click on it and delete that folder. We now come back to the browser. In the error message we see another line that is please access this page by the new URL. And you can see as the URL is given uh, press the shop 1609 slash admin 0747. Now you have to remember this URL as using this URL you are going to access the admin panel. So let's click on it and we will be prompted to log in. So we'll give our email address and password and we'll sign in. So this is the back office of our PrestaShop store. This is the front end where your customers will visit. And this is the back end where the admin will visit and set up everything regarding the product catalogs, categories, prices of the products and other things. So the important things to remember during the entire process of installation are that you have to delete the install folder from the install directory here and another thing is that you have to remember the URL that is admin0747 okay now if you come to the installation folder of PrestaShop you will find a folder named admin0747 so if you ever forget the URL you can access the files over here and get the name of the admin from here itself through which you can access the backend see PrestaShop1609 the only difference is that for front end it is uh, PrestaShop1609 slash index.php and for the admin section it is PrestaShop1609 slash admin0747 slash index.php and also remember that if PrestaShop does not automatically rename the admin folder then you have to manually rename the admin to any name you like and you'll be able to access the admin by the exact name you have provided to the directory so remember that so I guess that's all about installing PrestaShop using WAMP server in your local computer if you have any queries or questions regarding this you can post them in the comments section and we'll reply back as soon as possible and also if you have any other suggestions regarding any other videos you wanna see post them in the comment section as well and we'll get back on that also let me tell you that we have a product called apps eConnect which integrates ERP systems with e-commerce stores and marketplaces for more information visit appseconnect.com thank you for staying with me we'll be back with more such videos bye bye